Whenever I behaved the way a good Catholic girl should, mommy would buy me a lollipop, a nice spin comb or pop, or a banana. My tongue loved to explore where no man has ever been. My tongue didn't, didn't give a shit about the pie of food circumference. It was all about the sensation of the act. Love at first touch, long before Miley Cyrus's tongue twerked the media. Before sucking a lollipop, my tongue would travel first to the left, then to the right. I would rub the lollipop back and forth on my tongue until it disappeared from the stick. The sensation of the hard candy colored my tongue purple or red, depending on the flavor. Licking was pure ecstasy. The sensation of licking an vanilla ice cream cone or pop went a step further. Having vanilla cream drip down my hot summer chin, it was absolute heaven. Even more heavenly was eating a ripe banana. It delighted me to peel the banana down to its booty. In those days, my innocence didn't, didn't know a prick from Shinola. And seeing the banana three quarters naked was exciting. <laughs> I was slowly shoving it back and forth in my mouth before taking my first bite. It was delish. But sometimes, mommy would catch me in the act and shout, stop that, what are you doing? This is a sin. Jesus is watching you and you could die and go to hell for this. <laughs> my gosh. The same thing would happen whenever I rocked back and forth on the rug, discovering the pleasure of vibration in the area where my pee comes from. <laughs> Jesus must have been watching when I'm still alive and haven't met those laughing little red devils that jump off paint cans to stick their pitchforks up naughty asses. <laughs> I've never confessed to any priest. It was none of their goddamn business. Never trusted them when penance depended on who was in the confession box. One would make you say the rosary for missing mass three times. Another would give her a slap on the wrist. Ten Our Fathers, ten Hail Marys, and ten Glory Bees. As a Catholic, you learned that killing a person could send you to hell, as well as missing mass, or my quirky habits, according to mommy. <laughs> then came the advent of puberty. Painful periods well defined as the curse. Curly cool hairs down below that didn't purr like a pussycat. Hill formations had to hide under a rubber band bra. My hormones directed my attention towards the opposite sex, but they also gave me that alluring polka dot complexion. <laughs> my genes worked against me. I was no longer cute. It became harder to attract boys, only other genetic defects. Boy, did I hate their fishy kisses and clammy hands. My sexuality was on a roller coaster that rarely went up after calming down. I wasn't experiencing the sensation of the act. Maturity was setting in and I counted calories by counting Cutting back on lollipops and ice cream cones or pops or except for bananas. <laughs> I've learned to keep my food fascination a secret as well as my need for good vibrations with imaginary schlongs. <laughs> I grew up, became a fashionista and an ex-Catholic who had a nose and chin job. And who the hell knows if laughing little red devils prance off pink hands in hell and stick pitchforks of asses. As for loving a man, I've never got past point A to get fucked at point Z. If I want sensation of the act, I'll stick to food and vibrators. 
no bad aftertaste, no bullshit, and they don't!